Hi, I'm Megan and I'm the Bow Valley SPCA Adoption Center Manager and this is Zeus, my furry companion. And uh, we're here today to give you a bit of a virtual tour of our facility um, for those who are interested in volunteering here. Um, so come on in. Our facility is uh, fully fenced and it is 2.17 acres of land. Um, our dogs, when the gate is closed, have this whole area to run around and enjoy in the mornings and the evenings. Um, our building is actually called the Carla Cummings Sajonki Adoption Center, and uh, it houses the Bow Valley SPCA. So our facility was built in 2007, um, fully off donations and fundraising from the community. And Frank Sajonki donated um, a large sum of money in the end to help us complete the building um, in honor of his wife, Carla. So that is why the building is named that. Uh, so if you follow me over here, we're gonna check out our catios. In 2018, 2019, we were given donations that allowed us to um, add on to our catios that we had on the outside of the building. So we originally started with one on a single room, um, but with this donation, we were able to actually redo all of it and add two more catios. So now three of our cat rooms have outdoor access for our cats. So you can see some of them now. That's Camille, she's out here all the time, and Leonard. Um, so each of the rooms has their own access. One has door access and the other two are window access. And so this allows our cats a safe outdoor space um, in the summer and on warm winter days. They can come out here, lay in some sunbeams, have some fresh air, and not have to worry about all the wildlife we have and we don't have to worry about them running off. And then back here we have our dog runs. Uh, so these were also, we were given a grant to build these. And so we, you can see Raz over there in his. The other one is empty right now, but we have two completed and we have a third one on the go. Um, so the dogs also have outdoor access in the warm seasons 24 seven. So we'll leave their little doggy doors open and they can come and go as they please. Um, and then of course, when it gets cold, we give them daytime access and close them at night. So just really makes their time here much more enjoyable. And uh, we can use these rooms for larger dogs that are struggling being stuck in a smaller room. Um, Hi, buddy. Hello. Hello, sweet boy. Who's that? <laughs> okay. Not a camera fan. <laughs> okay, back pen. And we have pathways throughout uh, the entire fenced off area that we have here. So dog walkers can come and for our dogs that do better having walks on site, they can follow our little trail systems. And we have a couple of pens on site. So we have a fully enclosed one with a roof and everything over uh, off to the side. So that one can be used for dogs that uh, don't have good recall and also can jump high fences. We've used that one for those dogs before. And then we have this large pen. Um, so this is a great space. When we get dogs in and don't know their recall, um, we can leash walk them out here and give them this space to run around in without worrying about not being able to call them in after. Um, we also have recently started using this for our puppy socialization class that we hold at the center. Um, puppies are rambunctious, so it's nice to be able to keep them in one little space. Um, and then we will also use it for other training programs, one-on-ones with people and their dogs. So we were the first no kill, no cage in Canada. Uh, so we think that makes us pretty special and we think that you guys are pretty special for wanting to volunteer your time with us. Uh, volunteers uh, allow us to run the way that we do. We have very limited staff. Um, we have a small staff. I'm the only full time. And then we have animal care attendees that are here morning and night, feeding, medicating, cleaning, uh, caring for our animals. So without the help from volunteers, we wouldn't be able to do the events, the fundraising um, and community outreach that we do. So we're gonna take a look inside. Come on in. So this is our lobby and this is Zeke. 
Uh, our cats get to roam free in the lobby with all their favorite toys and catnip covered mats while our animal care attendees are cleaning each room. So um, over here is the cat rooms. We have six of them. They're all shared rooms, except for the odd one like Domino here, who's on the table. She doesn't like other cats, so she has a whole room to herself now. Um, but usually they're shared rooms. So we play around with cats when they get here, see who likes who. Most of the time they're all pretty good. Uh, this is our biggest room, the playroom. Uh, it has the largest climbing apparatus. So we often put our high energy cats in there, our braver cats uh, that will take advantage of that. And then if you follow this way, so these three rooms along the back are the ones that have the catios attached to them. So that's how the cats have their outdoor access. Um, we have our front desk here. So uh, one of the roles you can be as a volunteer is a greeter. So this is where you would sit. Uh, this is the first person people see when they walk in the door. So you're the face of our organization. If you're a greeter for us, you answer phones, talk to the public about who we have at the moment. Uh, here we have the boardroom, so usually just used for meetings and board meetings, but more often than not, we have a cat in it. Uh, right now we have Tommy. So Tommy is FIV positive. We get a lot of FIV positive cats through us because we are no kill. Um, FIV positive cats generally should be kept uh, on their own or with other FIV positive cats. So our boardroom tends to be their home when they're with us. Ready? It's not a bad deal. They get the biggest room and the most windows. I'll just say, this is our ISO area, so isolation area. We have three rooms back there. Um, usually we house mom and kittens when we get them back there or any animals we get in and we don't have a background on their vetting so we don't know if they're vaccinated fixed etc um, we also keep one room back there uh, for bylaw so when they find uh, animals at large they'll bring them here and we will house them until they find an owner so this area is a staff and trained volunteers only area so that means volunteers who have taken our open pause course and have been approved to walk and interact with our dogs so this here is Romeo, he's one of our newer residents. Um, we can hold up to six dogs here at a time. We also have a larger room in the middle that you'll see when we go further in. And that room right now is housing our giant Mastiff Grover. So we can use that room when we have larger dogs that may be uncomfortable in these slightly smaller rooms. Um, but it's mainly used for when we get mum and pups or when we have um, adoption meet and greets and it's too cold to do it outside. So you guys can come this way. It might get a little yet yeah, loud. So here we have Grover. So he's the one, hello Grover, taking up our giant room. And then we have a couple of rooms down this way that are currently empty. Um, we've recently started using um, scents to help the dogs calm. So it's been proven that essential oils like lavender can help dogs feel calmer in this space. And sometimes we even play music for them. So here we have our other rooms. Uh, these two rooms on the end uh, have dog runs. So this is Matilda. <laughs> If you come in here, uh, we have our dog prep room. So we have the same thing for cats up front. Uh, so this is where we keep all their food. We have different types of food for different dogs and their needs. Um, lots of treats. And then a food board which tells which dog gets what. So if you are a volunteer that's interested in working with our dogs, once you complete the orientation, you can go further and certify as an open paws trained volunteer and walk our dogs. This year's Tulip, uh, we just gave her that name. She came in from bylaw and we're currently looking to see if she has an owner. Um, so these are the things we deal with on a day to day here. And once you've completed your volunteer orientation, uh, you'll be able to come hang out, hold, care for, cuddle, 
and um, give our animals a better time until they find their forever home here at the shelter.